another week, another video. Let's just get straight into it because we've got quite a bit to chat about. First up, picture book course by The Good Ship Illustration. Module two, it was really, really fun. As usual, I'm not going to be able to share the uh, actual task and module with you because of intellectual property, but I shall share what I have done. This is my picture book sketchbook. I made this drawing first and that was with like a fine liner, the Strettler fine liner. Yeah, it just wasn't working for me so I tried to use this pencil and I started to doodle. I just love the texture of this pencil, it's just so buttery smooth. These were actually based on photos first, I really really enjoyed them. I tried to capture the moments, I found it really hard to draw and look after a child. Um, it was fine when she was a baby, she would just be laying there like a piece of meat and I would just literally draw her but now that she's really active, she's uh, just turned two, uh, she's running around, curious about everything, she she has started to come and look over my shoulders and you know wanted to draw so I can't kind of disturb her peaceful play so when my partner was home that's when I'm able to actually draw her we were asking her to go to the bath over here and she was like no 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 bath Chong Lan Lan is Chinese for for bath like take a shower and that's when she's really started to move and I need to try and capture her um she was eating over here she started to clean after we eat we kind of like clean together dust pan and brush but as you can tell a lot of scribbles and unfinished drawings this is when she was going up the stairs she sits down with her knees like bent on the floor I'm like, how are you kneeling like that? I My knees would snap if, if I kneeled like this. This is where she saw me drawing her. So she literally plonked herself and just stared at me drawing at her. It was, it was very difficult to capture. She's under the blanket here. This is her favorite toy, Ba, AKA Yang Yang, AKA Little Sheep. So we're gonna see how we're gonna progress next week. So one of my month's goals is to go to one meetup. I went to the Urban Sketchers. I believe that's like everywhere around the world as well. So there might be one local to you if you're interested. Does anybody spot eyes here? Like spot a face? Like I see a face <laughs> and I can't get it out of my mind. It's been a while since I've been drawing and yeah, I really enjoyed these uh, sketches. And I had no idea what this is. This looks like a underground ventilation. Um, if you know, please let me know. And this was a image drawn from memory. She just really reminded me of my two year old. I quite like it. Yeah, and the final thing that I got up to this week is this book. Um, I've been hoarding this book from the library for a while now and now that somebody else has actually borrowed it, like I need to return it back. It's giving me that pressure to finish the book as soon as possible, which is a good thing because otherwise I would just be like hugging and cuddling it. I actually have started a, a notebook for this. Uh, some of the takeaways I've got from reading this book so far is the importance of keeping a sketchbook. For next week, I've actually got a trip coming up and I'd like to do more on location drawing. Um, it's really been a bit difficult for me to draw during trips with people. I just have this fear of having them to wait for me or like not like, being sociable because I can't really talk and draw at the same time but if I can do both of it at the same time that will be amazing. Uh, I'm about third way in now I'm looking forward to like read the rest and also it's highlighted the importance of live drawing and coincidentally this week I heard about a live drawing art club and that's just the beauty of meeting people other artists locally and just having a chat but we will see how far we will get up to in the next video um thank you so much for watching i really hope you're having a wonderful week and see you in the next one goodbye